you guys a little lost right now? Okay, let me clarify. Salute. Tutsa Falcomo. Shimon Falmaki. Still a little confused? <laughs> In English, that translates to hi. How are you doing today? My name is Maggie. Uh, just in your experience a moment ago, you've probably faced a situation where you've come across a language barrier. It may have been while you were on vacation, while working, or even just trying to talk to a neighbor down the street. It's becoming a more common occurrence to come across people from other countries that have moved to the United States. Learning a second language can help you communicate better, allow you more job opportunities, and enrich your creative expression. According to the U.S. Census Bureau's 2010 census, 19.6% of people speak a language other than English in their homes. Roughly, that means out of 280 million people in the United States, 55 million don't speak English in their homes. That doesn't necessarily mean that they don't speak English, but they may be bilingual or multilingual, or they could also have just started speaking English and only know a little bit. Uh, many people who have moved here from other countries struggle to learn English. It's a difficult language to learn. Uh, and it's also hard to learn a language. It becomes more hard to learn a language after the age of 10. I interviewed my friend, Sam Inga, who's multilingual, and he says it's difficult to uh, like think in one language and then translate his thoughts into English. Traveling internationally is also a situation where the difficulty of language barrier may occur. If you don't know the language of another country, um, you're not only faced with a lot of confusion, but you're also like presenting yourself to potential danger. Um, there won't always be someone around that knows English to help you out. I faced a situation traveling to Mexico with my family when I was young. I didn't know any Spanish, and we went to a small island off of Cancun. Uh, I was walking to the pool, and this lady came up to me with a parrot in her hand, and she starts talking in Spanish, and I had no idea what was going on. She put the parrot on my shoulder, and someone took a picture of me. And this is actually the picture. Luckily, it was just a marketing scheme for the island so they could sell pictures to people. Um, in all of these situations, having knowledge of a second language helps you communicate better. Being able to communicate more easily is the most obvious reason for learning a second language, and it's also the drive for a lot of people. Even having a little knowledge can substantially help in situations where you need to communicate with someone. Learning a second language makes it so we don't have to worry about language barriers stopping us from helping someone out, enjoying a vacation, or simply chatting with a friend. Besides communicating more easily, learning a second language can also provide more job opportunities. Being bilingual or multilingual is a trait that many employees seek. It's not just a job for any, like a certain job field, like it helps in all situations. FireRecruit.com, which is a website that helps firefighters find jobs, says that most departments give preferential status to people who are bilingual. Teachers who speak more than one language are also highly sought after. Um, everyone, from bank workers, hospital staff, retail workers, and even corporate big books can benefit from knowing another language. Also, businesses that have a bilingual staff uh, can reach a period of clientele as well. In high school, I took some French, and my French teacher told me that she had a job at a corporate uh, headquarters in Canada, and that her ability to speak French as well as English was what got her that job. Uh, opening up more job opportunities and being able to communicate better are very practical benefits of a second language. There are also reasons to know a second language that you might not know about. Learning a second language can enrich your creative expression. Yourdictionary.com states the following about the benefits of learning a second language. Like a muscle being exercised, the brain is able to function better in terms of organization, memory, and expression. I also found an article on Education Resources Information Center and the author says, several studies indicate that individuals who learn a second language are more creative and do better, or, and, and better at solving complex problems than those who do not. It also opens up your mind to cultures outside of your own. Um, also, uh, learning a second language makes it easier to learn a third language. Most international students in the United States speak three or four languages. And also, when I was in my French class, I talked to a lot of students and they were Hispanic and they said that learning like that class was easier for them because most of the French words were just different versions of like Spanish words. <clears throat> learning a second language can also benefit you in your everyday life. I talked to my sister who used to work at a clothing store and she said that she asked a woman one day if she wanted to try on shoes. 
Dolan looked at her confused, held up a shoe, and signed the number eight. My sister was in a sign language class at the time, and she came back with the shoe size, and when she came back, she signed back to her. The woman smiled and was excited to know that like she could speak like in sign language to her. Uh, imagine yourself in a place where you don't understand what anyone's saying, but then you hear a little familiar word. Even if it's only bits and pieces of your language, it's comforting to you. You can find so many different uses for you learning a new language. In conclusion, better communication, more jobs, and creative enrichment are just a few of the reasons learning a second language is beneficial. It helps us communicate better with people locally or people we meet abroad. Um, with the number of people immigrating to the United States, every job field could benefit from bilingual or multilingual employees. And <clears throat> It also allows your mind to be more creative by working different parts of your brain. We can all benefit from this. Pick a language that interests you, or maybe one you hear frequently. Make it fun, and get started today.